Hi, I'm Dr. Lori Leach and I'm here with Spokes Dog Monkey and we're going to talk to you about how to bathe a newborn puppy. Now a newborn puppy is going to have their eyes closed so monkeys a little bit older than that but some of the same principles apply. Newborn puppies are very susceptible to drafts so you're going to want to have a towel so that you can keep them pretty much uh, warm and the first thing that you're going to do is go through their coat with a flea comb so that you can get any fleas off the coat because you're not going to want to use chemicals on a newborn puppy. So go through their coat with a flea comb identifying any fleas and getting rid of any fleas that you might find. One thing that you can do but it's very important you can use rubbing alcohol on your cotton ball. Now you comb through and when you get the flea with the rubbing alcohol pick the flea off and set it aside. The rubbing alcohol will stun the flea. We don't want the rubbing alcohol on the puppy. The puppy can't take it. But this is how you're going to safely take fleas off of your puppy when it's a newborn, when it's very young and um, you don't want to have chemicals on your puppy. The second thing that you're going to do is make sure that the puppy's face is protected. Now when you come to washing the face I think you're just going to want to take a washcloth with warm water and just wipe down the face. I don't want any soap, I don't want any chemicals on the face. When it comes to giving the puppy a bath probably it's best to enlist the aid of an assistant. And the first thing that you're going to do is take a gentle hypoallergenic shampoo and your veterinarian is going to have some good recommendations for that and you're just going to put the shampoo into some water that is the same warmth that you would want for a baby bottle okay not too hot not too cold these newborn puppies cannot thermoregulate they can't keep their body temperature so it's got to be just right for them all the time so the water is going to be comfortable and warm, you put the soap into the water and that's where you're going to get your suds. And then your assistant is going to help you. We're going to hold the puppy into the water but we aren't going to let the head go in the water. And so one person is going to suds the puppy up and clean the puppy. The other assistant is going to just make sure that the puppy doesn't slip into the basin of water or anything horrible like that. Okay, so you're going to suds up the puppy, gently rubbing and working it in, into the basin with your assistant holding, making sure that the puppy's stable, that the head is uh, staying clean and dry. And then you've got another basin waiting. Again, same thing, warm but not too warm. It's, it's baby bottle warmth, you know, as, as warm as you would feel comfortable on the wrist. And then you're going to put the puppy and rinse the puppy off, rinse all that soap off the puppy. And then you're going to, tra going to transfer things. Transfer the puppy to a warm towel. You can pre-warm the towel in your dryer and then the towel's got that nice warmth. You're going to rub gently and as you rub gently you're drying the puppy off. And then you're going to put the puppy in an area that is uh, comfortably warm and free from drafts. You, the problem with using blow dryers, hair blow dryers on puppies is they can get very, very hot. So if you're going to use a hair blow dryer, you have to keep it moving all the time, waving back and forth because those electrical uh, coils that heat up the air can get very hot and can damage the puppy. If you choose to use a hair dryer to blow dry that puppy, you have to be very, very careful. And just make sure the puppy is thoroughly dry, but always keep a waving motion so that it doesn't get too hot in one place. Then you're going to transfer the puppy back with its litter mates. If you've got the litter mates, you're going to put it into its nesting box. The nesting box has to be free from drafts because even if the puppy is a little bit damp, that dampness is going to make the puppy that much colder. So it should be a nesting box with some towels in it and maybe even a towel over the top to pr protect from drafts. Thanks very much and I'm Dr. Lori Leach and this is Monkey.